Hey guys, Professor David here. I got another video for you today. Guys, today's video is important because a lot of people will instantly, automatically, with no training, if somebody's trying to hit them in the face, they'll block. They'll block that strike. But the problem is they don't know what to do after they block. Let me give you something for you to practice, for you to work on, that will 100% of the time work. To another level. If you block that strike to your face, 100% of the time this will work for you, if you remember it. Okay, Kenny, come on in here. The drill is called back fist, hammer fist, and punch. Punch, palm, push, unbalance. So if the man is striking, I'm lucky enough to block. I'm talking to this guy, he tries to sucker punch me, and my, I throw my hands up. See, I get no fancy martial arts block, I just threw my hands up. But most of the time what happens is people go like this, hey man, yo, yo, what the hell? What are you trying to punch me for? People will do that. They will, they will block the strike and then they will move back and give this guy space to regroup. Now he may get into his boxing thing because he said, okay, that guy somehow blocked the punch. Maybe he's a little bit more skillful than I thought. He don't know it was just luck, okay? So now, when you block that punch, you're talking to that guy, and he tries to suck a punch, and your hands went up. Now look at the positioning of your hands. The closest to, to him is a back fist, a back hand. So you use that immediately. Professor V calls it striking from the closest point. This is the closest point. So I'm gonna go with the back of my hand. If I can remember, I'll make it into a, a back fist. Then the hardest strike you have is hammer fist. Hammer. When you hammer, he's obviously going to move. So you got to follow him. You can't do technique in the same spot. The man is going to move. So who the hell gets hit with a back fist and a hammer fist and don't move? And you're always aware of that hand in case it moves. But hammer fist, now your next strike is punch. Now when you punch, now that right from here, he might throw that. Then you got to look for your openings. I don't know what your openings are going to be. And I'm not going to start showing you a bunch of different things. What you can't do if you want to add arm bar locks and wrist bars, breaks and all that. That's your, your thing. I'm just trying to get you into position to do the things that you practice. So now, what if he strikes with the other hand? Left side, right side, it means no different. Tries to suck a punch you, nothing changes, guys. This is still the closest point. Back fist. Hammer fist, punch, go into him and keep moving with him. Okay? So now, what if he goes in combination, right, left, or left, right? So you didn't, you, the second one came, so you got to do it off the second one because you didn't have enough time to do it off the first, first one because your eye caught the second one. So when you bounce off, this is back fist, hammer fist, strike, and keep it tight. Okay? If he came left, right, it's the same thing. This, this. Back fist, hammer fist, punch, and stay with him. So now, let me show you how you practice this. Kenny's gonna grab the mitts. And this is how you practice this to get better, guys. This is what you do. You could do this in your living room. You could do this with your family member. It's a great drill. Great drill. I've been using it for years and years and years. I mean, over 20 years I've been using this. And it's really good at just building a reflex, Training the mind what to do after you stop the initial threat. So he strikes, boom, you go right here. Back fist, hammer fist, punch. Don't do it fast. Learn, learn the combination, and then build up your speed. Come to the other hand, stop. Now I'm gonna go back fist, hammer fist, punch. Now he's gonna go one, two. So I'm gonna do this and this. Then once again, I look at my target. Back fist, hammer fist, punch. Now he's going to go the opposite hand. This way, that way. So now I look at the target. I see it out of the corner of my eye, which is his face. So it's back fist, hammer fist, punch. And you notice I keep my hands up. I don't do this. I keep my bang, bang, bang. Keep my hands in his center. Punch. Now, each one of those, you take it, do that drill for a minute. So you do a minute with just one side and then the other side. One side, then the other side. Then 
Again, two minutes on the right to left, left to right. Then you do another two minutes on the three combination. So now he's going three times. So you block this one, this one, and this one. Now you come back to that side. Back fist, hammer fist, punch. Now he starts with the left hand. This one, this one, this one. Now you go back fist, hammer fist, and punch. Guys, if you get good at that drill, can you stop that, drop those pads? Anytime somebody goes out to strike you, anytime somebody just puts his hand on you, you do this, yo, take your hands off. Soon as you put your hands on, boom, back fist, hammer fist, and punch. Guys, you'll get so quick and so fast at doing that, man, you're gonna blow your own mind. You're gonna say, damn, this stuff works. I know it works, right? Everything we do works. Because if it don't work, unlike some people who keep doing things that don't work, but they say, oh, this is it, this is the way it is. Us, we plan it, we do it, we review it, and if it don't have the value, we get rid of it. And this is one of those things that's been in our book for well over 30 years, okay? That's how long we've been using it. So I know it works. I've actually used it in the outside. So it works if you work it, if you put the time in. Kenny, tell them what to do. Guys, as always, all of our content, guys, all of our content is for self-protection purposes only. It's not for you to go out and incite any violence. It's for you to protect yourself and the people around you. As always, also, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button, guys. Share our videos. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you. To another level.